Hello you lovely people. Here we are again at a caravan park as I am now on holiday officially with my family and my mother-in-law at the Isle of Wight or in the Isle of Wight. It's very much uh, like all the other caravan parks we go to but of course we're on the Isle of Wight instead. But yeah, That's just a basic look at where we are. That's our caravan right there and you can see up here guys we arrived yesterday but it was absolutely miserable it was pouring with rain so I didn't bother doing a video then but yeah there we are and we're off to the needles today so I will see you when we're there here we go guys we're at the needles so this is a uh, whole uh, story about the needles and where I originally had the uh, Marconi uh, mast. The stone commemorates it. But if you look over here guys, you can see there is like a, a park with things to do. Ooh, and there's an Oliver. Ah, uh, Josh. Putting his head down. A bit more info there. Pause if you need the longer. Right, we're going to actually have a look off the view in a minute. So, back in a sec. There's the needles in the distance there. A bit smaller than I was expecting. <laughs> there you go. Just a bit. Here's a lovely view though. Really, really nice. And it's not too windy. And there's an Oliver down the bottom. Are you impressed with the needles, Oliver? Or are they a lot smaller than you thought? It is a lovely view though, I must say. Yeah, quite impressive. Let's see if we can pull into the needles a bit more. Well, I've been trying to get Oliver to go on this, but apparently he's too old for this now. He's too old for it. And here's a slightly better view. And you can actually see the dinosaurs there. Yeah. But yeah, Oliver's finally got to that age where he doesn't want to go on it. What a shame. Well guys, we're still at the Needle and we have found a little arcade. As you know, on these videos I always try to find an arcade with the boys and Amy this time. And here we have, what is this one called? Oh, Dead Heat. Well, that's pretty uh, cool looking. And there's two of them together I do believe, is there? Let's have a look, yeah, Dead Heat again. Well, that is pretty cool looking. Have a look there. So yeah, it actually puts you into the game then, I say. There we go. There it is playing. That's pretty cool, I like that. The graphics are pretty awesome as well. Yeah, that is cool. There's the other one. I doubt we've had it on a video in the past. And guys, right next to it, look what we have. Luigi's Mansion. I don't think it's working at the moment, which is a shame. Let's go around to it and have a look here. There we go, Luigi's Mansion. And there he is, look. Oh, he's scared. 
as usual. That is pretty damn cool, isn't it, eh? Wow. It's a fantastic arcade. Let's have a look around here. On this side of it, let's have a look here. Oh, maybe it is working. Yeah, it could well be working, guys. There's the curtain. As you always have on this machine. There we go, go down. Yeah, very, very cool, that one. Let's have a look inside, there we go. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. This is absolutely blinding, look. Fantastic. I've shown this many times before on my channel, but it never gets old. It is still absolutely awesome. Just the decals in here are fantastic already. Brilliant. Yeah. How cool is that? And there's Amy, but she doesn't want to be on video, so I'll have to avoid it. But yeah, cool. Just the decals are on. Can I get in, dear Josh? Go on in, in you go. There we go. Right, Josh is getting in. Are you actually going to play it then? Right, I, I do love the uh, the guns or the hoovers, if you like. They are pretty cool. Right, so you're gonna play it, are you? Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah let's have a look. Let's watch, let's watch Josh play it. So you're both playing. Yeah. So Amy and Josh are playing. Hello. Get in to shut that curtain a bit. There we go, must be better. Hello. What's the button? Hello. 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 Well, you both seem to be doing all right. Right, we'll leave them to it and move on. Wow, guys, look what they got. One of my all-time favorite games, guys, this Doodle Jump. There's the uh, control panel. Wow. That is pretty damn cool. Oh, that is fantastic. Imagine having that in your house. I'd love that. I'm sad. I love Doodle Jump. Doodle Jump Arcade. Awesome. Oliver's now on the uh, 2P machine. You all know this one. I'll tell you what, where you drop the coin in and try and get it all to move. Yeah, let's have a look. See how you do. Wee! You just got some out, didn't you? You got some coins. What are you trying to get? Ah, oh, you're trying to get the candy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's see how you do then. Oh, nothing yet. Try again, that's it, go on, keep going. You got stuck. Oh. He hit that thing where the coins get stuck. Is he gonna get some candy though? That is the thing. What do you reckon, do you think you're gonna get some? You don't? I think you might. Hey, look at that. Oh Some more God. coins. This is so 
Is this uh, giving you tickets? It didn't, does it? Oh yes, right by the edge. Yeah. You get tickets on this one. You don't, do you? Uh, that's a shame. So you're gonna get anything else? Yeah, you got the coins. Oh, we got it! I got it! I got it! Oh, you got one! Yeah, you got it! Wicked. So you have success. What did he get? A tango. Okay. Popping candy. Uh, I'm not gonna do this one anymore because there's nothing else on the edge. And of course, it has to be the Pac-Man basketball. Again, love, love, love the decals on this machine. Might not be a video game, but it's got Pac-Man on it. So, that's got to be good, isn't it? There we go. A bit from there. Yeah, I've shown this many times before as well. It's a brilliant machine, though. Really, really fun. That is just so cool. And there we go guys, the last one in here, which is just a generic dolphin style. I do like the uh, the look of the... Uh, the thing you sit on, the dolphin you sit on, is pretty cool. But yeah. Cool for the younger ones, of course. I have just had the trip from hell going down on the stair swing things chair lift that's the one and uh, yeah terrified the absolute rubbish out of me because um, yeah I have vertigo and I'm scared of heights but we're here at the bottom yeah and there's Josh there's Ollie and they've been digging away for fossils because apparently there's lots of fossils here on the Isle of Wight uh, the uh, needles, but of course we're at the bottom of the cliff having come down on the chairlift which I have to still go blinking back up on and I'm probably going to poo my pants so yeah that's going to be fun let's have a look around here guys here we go have a quick glance there's the needle again needles you can just see them in the distance there so you're very very busy down here it's a very tiny little bit but it's so busy. And there goes Ollie the great dinosaur hunter. It's our very own Indiana Jones. Yeah, and it's all pebbly. And there is the horrendous, horrendous stair lifts going up and down. And I've still got a tackle going back up. So apparently Oliver loves the needles, even though they're a little bit, you know, underwhelming. They're not as big as we thought, are they, Oliver? No. And here we are, guys, at the uh, yeah the garlic farm on the Isle of Wight. Uh, mostly pictures, guys, a little bit of video, but it's absolutely wonderful here. Really, really is. They have so many different wonderful things to eat if you love garlic like I do, and the rest of the family do. Brilliant place. Very, very beautiful. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on
like your farm they also have chickens just like me yeah and you yeah they definitely got you it's really really pretty i mean most of the things i've done has been uh, photos but uh, yeah it's really lovely i'll get him in a minute ollie hang on this is very very pretty here the isle of wight garlic farm Oh, very chunky one, Ollie. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're at the garden. Look at the size of that chicken. Wow, you could eat that for a week. Wow. Scared the vampires away. Yeah. That's it. Very pretty Josh indeed. Josh has going to taste test some garlic. Yeah. Which Josh, I don't blame him. Josh and everybody else in our family right now absolutely stink garlic. Even me. And Josh has gone back for even more, so he's going to be walking home to the caravan. Really big. Yeah. Well, guys, we had a wonderful time at the garlic farm. Absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you what, they sell their goods all over the Isle of Wight. You find them in all the gift shops and everything. And, yeah, it's been going for 50 years, guys. 50 years, and it's still owned by the same family. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, especially garlic related anything. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth a trip if you go into the Isle of Wight. It is lovely and you get to taste all the food, of course. Wicked. Now, guys, we're at the National Pooh Museum in the Isle of Wight. Back in a bit. Guys, I absolutely love this sign. Look at it. This is wicked. Revealing the hidden world of poo. Who would have thought you'd say that, eh? Not me. I absolutely love this when you get in here, guys. You say there, one lump or two, Vicar. Yeah, you vote for your poo, guys. You put a marble in to uh, explain what your last poo looked like. It's a bit of a competition that they're running there. Very interesting. It's all about good, healthy living and all that gubbins. And here we go, guys, with the very first toilet that was ever made. And Queen Victoria had one. If you turn this little handle here, like this, it spins it around so you can look at it from all the different angles. Yeah, the first ever toilet, eh? I wouldn't have liked to sit on that. And here we go, guys, with a, yeah, a live animal poo stream. They have it in a microscope, which you can uh, see in a minute at the bottom there. And it's actually streaming it live, what is on the uh, microscope. And it's animal poo. Very interesting indeed, eh? That's in our live stream. Everybody needs to catch up. Right, now it's time to have a look at some adult poo. And baby poo, look at that. Uh, um, yeah, disgusting. Yuck. Right, what you're going to see next, guys, is actually one of those big fat packages. Yeah, a load of fat in it, stuck in the sewage pipe, and it was donated to them by one of the water companies, believe it or not. Yuck. Absolutely disgusting. And here's an unfinished project. All I can say to you is elephant poo. Hey, let's sniff stuff in the old urinals. Ooh. Well, guys, that was the poo museum. I couldn't really do much talking in there because there was a guy talking away about poo, obviously. This used to be an old toilet, as you might have guessed from that footage. Really, really interesting way for them to reuse an old toilet, public toilet. And now for a fantastic video game shop. Hey guys, here we are. We're at Arcade Games. In Shanklin, on the Isle of Wight, of course. As you can see, they do lots of Funko Pops, but they also got a hell of a lot of arcade stuff and retro video games in general inside as well. There we go, guys. As like I said, they've got loads of Funko Pops. So if you're after your Funko Pops, you know where to come. Wow, that is incredible. This is an absolutely awesome show. I'm going to just give it a one over what is here, guys. Absolutely blinding. Over there as well, more Funko Pops. Skylanders. This is one I'm lining up at the moment because I haven't got that one in the collection yet. 
And there you go, see Ollie and Josh walking down there. I just spotted all the pierced stones. Some very nice bits and bobs here in the uh, cupboard as well. With your uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, loose carts as well. Look in here. Comment below if you spot anything new look, look of. There we go. Lots of stuff here as well. PC. Original Xbox. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. I'll just give you guys a one over before I go look myself. What's a Wii? Xbox One. Then you go to the back here, there's more stuff here. Wow. This is one very, very awesome shop. And the guy behind the counter is really, really friendly and nice. I'm sure he'll help you with any of your needs. This is just incredible, guys. Incredible. Like I've always said, I wish we had something like this in uh, in Chatham, but we don't. Nothing like this. Oh, there's some fantastic stuff on these shelves here as well. Look, I've just spotted the Atari stuff. Wicked. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, here we go. Look, we've got some uh, Dreamcast here. Wicked. Atari's 2600 there as well, again. Yeah, there's some awesome, awesome titles here, guys. But you know with me, it's the usual. Finding something I haven't got already. Yeah, brilliant. All the PS1 games there, guys. Wow. And it's going to lose cart as well for the N64. Yeah. What we got here? Oh, Super Soccer for the uh, SNES. Loads of 2600, you know how much I love my 2600 stuff. Again, it's just finding things that I haven't got already. Oh, look at that one, that's cool. The Smurfs Mega Drive there, Saturn. Absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what, you could spend hours in here just shifting through it all. Having a good look around. This is incredible. PS3 there. Xbox 360. Wow. Right, so I'm going to go and have a look myself in a moment. See anything I want to grab while I'm here. Like, oh, look, loads of PSP stuff here as well. That is just brilliant. And there's Josh again. Hey, hey, where's Ollie gone? Oh, they came all the way up here. Yeah, that is just the Funko Pops. They're just incredible. So, um, yeah, that is brilliant. There we go. Oh, we got the let's tap there. Right, I'm going to have a look now, guys. Right, guys, if you do venture here, the, the man's name is Dave and he is really, really nice. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy. Just showing you some of the uh, cream of the crop he has in his windows here. There's even an Intellivision in the window at the moment. So yeah, come along to Arcade Games in Shanklin on the high street and uh, look for Dave and he'll be more than willing to help you. Absolutely awesome shop. Fantastic. Guys, what an amazing shop, eh? I'll tell you what, I could have spent hours and hours and hours in there. Wonderful, wonderful shop. And Dave is a really nice guy. Very knowledgeable about everything that you might need to know. And he's got everything, guys. You name it, he is buried away in that shop somewhere. As Dave said to me himself, sometimes it's like three deep, four deep. Oh, you could just waste your whole day in that shop. Like I said, 
what a wonderful guy he is. And I tell you, one of the locals came in and he found uh, some games for me, these here, because uh, I'm after in television games. And if I'd have had longer guys, I would have walked away with a hell of a lot more than just these four items here. But I was very, very happy to pick these up, especially the television games, because as you know, they are pretty hard to get hold of these days. Uh, yeah, so he was wonderful as well, the local. He's so friendly and so helpful. And like I said, guys, Dave couldn't do more for you if you asked. He really, really couldn't. So what did I actually get then? Yeah, three in television games. Of course, here we have Lock and Chase. I mean, they're loose, but they're still in uh, pretty good condition. The label on that one's got a little bit of a niggle, but that's all. It's pretty cool otherwise. So yeah, that was cool to get that one. Then we have the fantastic Burger Time guys. And as you can see, the dates are on here, guys. And I do believe they're all from 1982. There we go, that's that one. So that was fantastic to pick that up as well. And another one of my old favourites, guys. Old classic favourites. Right, Stalker. Now this is a marked USA. So yeah, again, wonderful to get these. And there, you've got your insert cart and all that. Insert to this line. Because of course they're going that way. And there to look at the cartridge in general with this uh, shape here. Yep, absolutely brilliant to pick those up. And then I also picked this up. I'll tell you what, I was eyeing up a lot of things in there. But like I said, if I would have had more time, I certainly would have bought more. I'm hoping that one day I manage to get back there. But yeah, here we are. I got a mini classic <laughs> from 2010. And it's Mario Cement Factory. Now the company that made this, although it's under license from Nintendo, with their seal of approval up there, guys, is actually Austrian. So yeah, an Austrian company. And it is, as they say there, clock function, alarm function, and it's a keychain. And of course, it's the game on watch. Mario's Cement Factory, fully working. Brand new, never been opened. It's in a blister pack. But you know me, guys, whether it's got a little bit of age to it or not, I am going to open it up and uh, yeah, I'll do an unboxing, open it up and uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it running and everything. So that'll be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, there we go. There's the back of it, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, only a small pickups from there, guys, but as you can hear, I'm full of cold. Uh, but yeah, fantastic nonetheless. And like I said, guys, get over there. If you're in the Isle of Wight or if you're going to the Isle of Wight, get over there, check it out. He is a true hidden gem. Dave and his fantastic shop, Arcade Games. What a hidden gem. But yeah, put some hours aside, guys, to search for all the stock. Oh, what an awesome shop, guys. And uh, like I said, there's so many layers there that you can go through. So yeah, you need a bit of time in there. And he keeps all the gems behind the counter. So the very valuable stuff is behind the counter. I'll tell you what, I could have just oh, been there all day. But of course... I was time constricted because we had other things to do as well. So yeah, what a fantastic place. Yeah, check it out guys. There you can see his website. It will also be linked in the description to his website. There's his email and his phone number if you want to ring him to see if he's got what you're particularly after, guys. What a wonderful shop. Right, let's get back on to things, shall we? Love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. It's now day four of our holiday and we have come to Osborne House which was the holiday house of Queen Victoria, should I say, holiday palace of uh, Queen Victoria. And they even have a little private beach which we're going to go to later uh, where, yeah, Queen Victoria and Albert used to take their nine children to go and play and relax. So yeah, this is a beautiful house, guys. Um, when Victoria died, the uh, family didn't want it anymore and they actually gave it uh, away to charity um, and it was for the uh, Navy sergeants at the time. Um, 
you know, that had suffered a lot and they needed to recuperate. So they used to come here and recuperate. And then in later years, anybody could come as long as you had a hell of a lot of money. And I'm talking millions, guys, you could come and uh, yeah, use it as a retreat. And it shut in 2000, I do believe. So not that long ago, guys. And um, yeah, incredible, absolutely incredible. <laughs>
every nine years and uh, when you actually touch it it is literally like a cork ball you feel it soft like a cork from a, uh, from a bottle and that is pretty cool you see that every day do you? that's for sure that yourselves. Look at the look at the blinking trunk of this thing. Wow. Incredible. Right, we're down at the beach. This was Queen Victoria and Albert's private beach where they used to bring the children to learn to swim. They used to spend their days here on hot sunny days. And you can see the big ship in the distance. But yeah, this beach is kind of just right for it, isn't it? It's not too big and not too small. Absolutely perfect. Because nowadays it's open to the public as long as you pay the entrance fee, of course. There is a cafe here. And what have you, one of the old beach uh, changing huts there. Oh yeah, really lovely here, even in this uh, pretty crap weather, really. But uh, it's not too bad, I suppose. And there's another big ship there. Two massive ships, cargo ships. Wow, very cool. And there goes one of the big ships again, little one. And the other big one's going to pop out the back of this one. There you go. Pretty cool seeing this as the ships pass each other by. Wow. Very cool. This is the Shell Alcove. There you go if you want to have a read guys, just pause it. And there you can see where the shells have been put in. Yeah. Huh. You think how long ago that was done guys, wow. Absolutely uh, incredible that it survived the way it has. Let's get a bit more of a closer look at the shelves there. There we go. Brilliant. Very cool indeed. fountain before we leave. This is a very delicate fountain apparently and could break very easily so they do not let you go beyond the point that I am at now. Yeah. Pretty cool that's still working this one. Excellent. Well guys that was ending on an awesome note because that was the last of our holiday guys. We were only here for those few days, but what a fantastic time we had, as you can see, going to all these different places, guys, including the National Pooh Museum. And then that awesome shop, Dave's fantastic, fantastic shop in Shanklin, guys. Oh, wonderful. Where you could just waste your life away, digging through all that wonderful stock. And i tell you what, He's such a nice guy. He really is. I can't stipulate that enough. What a lovely, lovely man. So yeah, 
Oh, fantastic holiday guys. We all enjoyed it, every aspect of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that, I'm going to say, off it does then. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is better.